we're excited about Buy African because it obviously ties into our strategy for Africa, which is to um, go into Africa and empower the small businesses as much as we can and also get involved with the people that have, um, have the passion or share the same passion with us in terms of being able to provide solutions to the small businesses that are out there, to the entrepreneurs that are out there that need those sort of, um, those sort of services. Sure, it's about connecting entrepreneurs, it's about connecting African businesses to each other. Uh, please share with us Sage Technologies' challenges in reaching the rest of the African market. From what I understand, you are, you are positioned in Southern Africa, East Africa, and West Africa. Mm -hmm. What are the challenges for African businesses like yours to connect with other African businesses to open up your market share? So I think the challenge um, mostly is with regards to, to reach. You don't always have the reach um, to, to, to be able to get to all the, the countries or the businesses that are out there. So we've embarked heavily on um, accessing our clients through the digital platform. So we also encourage our, our clients and to empower businesses to also have a digital footprint through websites so that more people can connect because obviously uh, previously people could connect um, through print media, uh, through TV and things like that. But there's a lot of traffic that goes through social media, through websites. You know, people do a lot of Googling these days and they rely on that. So we want to connect with those people as much as possible using those platforms. We do have offices in South Africa, in Nigeria and in Kenya as well. And partnering with Buy Africa is, 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 is good for us because they also have country managers in more countries than we do. So there's at least uh, people on the ground that can help in terms of reaching more people um, and advising them about what's, what's, what's out there just to make their lives easier. Fantastic. And what do you think of the current state of connectivity you're experiencing as an African business mm -hmm. via the internet? Why is that not enough? Well, look, connectivity differs based on where you are. And we've, we've also taken that into account when we, when we roll out our, our solutions. So specifically in the space that, um, that I'm in, which is the, the startup space, we do have desktop products and we do have um, online products. The reason for that is that connectivity is not always the same. So we benefit of fairly decent connectivity here in South Africa. Uh, Kenya is also doing well in terms of connectivity. It's actually become one of the technology hubs of, of Africa. Nigeria is also doing okay. Um, some of the sadder countries are sort of um, here and there. It's not always available or due to power, power, power interruptions, it's not always consistent. So we sort of give uh, that platform uh, in terms of options, in terms of desktop as well as online solutions that can give that solution. Uh, because at least even if you're not able to process on the internet or mm -hmm. be live on the internet, your website should be up. Someone who is looking for something that you do should be able to pick up your details even if you can't do other things. So that's why for us uh, an online presence is key and also just giving people the ability to choose based on what infrastructure they have or the capacity they have from an infrastructure perspective. Africa is home to a lot of international brands, whether it's in the ICT sector or other services sector. They also regard themselves as Africans. Mm -hmm. uh, is this whole venture with Buy Africa, Buy African, uh, what comes up is, is it anti-international brands? Is it just for the spawned African brands? Or, or does it include the international brands as well that see themselves as totally African? So I, I don't think it's... Um is this about exclusion? Of it's, it's, it's not about exclusion. The main focus is to promote inter-Africa trade, um, the trade within the, uh, the, within the African countries. Um, the reason for that is that most people have tended to get a lot of their products um, through Europe or the different markets as well. But there's a lot more that we can actually harness or um, get available to us on the continent. So, you know, foreign players, to my understanding, are welcome. From a stage perspective, we are actually a global company. We're headquartered in, in, in the United Kingdom. Um, but where we come in is that we develop and distribute all our African solutions through our South African office. So we benefit of the global footprint, but we also understand the African market and we're able to provide for it. So with the Buy Africa initiative or the partnering, it's not to exclude any of the other European countries or anybody who wants to get involved. I think it's more really about promoting trade and empowering the people that actually engage in that trade on the continent to say this is what's available and that's what's available. So it's, it's, it's not exclusive 
uh, to my knowledge, is also not political as well. It's really about promoting inter-Africa trade and raising the awareness of what's available.